Uh, this is to show you how to remove the BIOS, uh, the startup option. The, this thing has the enabled uh, uh, UEFI uh, feature. Notice it comes up directly into um, Windows 8. Uh, it doesn't give you any options at startup when you turn it on. And if let's say you want to boot up to a uh, flash drive or you want to boot up to the CD, um, you want to do something and, and reinstall, uh, let's say, Windows 7 instead of Windows 8 or Vista for that matter. It doesn't really matter what you want to install, but this is on an HP uh, 2000. So what I'm going to show you is uh, how to start up, how to remove uh, the disabled uh, UEFI. Uh, feature on these laptops. This will happen on uh, almost any computer. Um, so you can do two things. If you want to get into, first thing you have to do is get into CMOS or the setup. So you press the power button and you hold down the F10 key. And notice now on this that the option for uh, BIOS setup option comes up now. So now we should be able to get into BIOS. Notice here, um, we're in BIOS already. So uh, if you go to System Configuration, Boot Options, uh, notice that it has the it has the UEFI boot order enabled. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it does, so you kind of know uh, what uh, what to expect. So let's say you want to escape, press escape to boot. Notice it's saying um, this is going to pause the startup. So now we're going to get a, a startup option. Okay, this is normal from any of the previous operating systems on Windows, uh, on the HP laptops, I'm sorry. So notice you have F9 for boot device options. So uh, we go back here, you press F9. And then it gives you only two options on here. Notice that. So it gives you OS boot manager and boot from EFI file. So if you press that, it's going to open up and launch uh, Windows 8. Uh, we don't want it to boot up to Windows. Okay, now that we're in the um, setup utility, we're going to go into system configuration to disable the. Uh, UEFI boot option. So the first thing we do is we go here, we select, um, we move up the internal DVD. So press F6, that moves it up. Now we're going to go to disable the security. Uh, security boot, we want to disable that. So we want to get hit enter and we want to disable it now we want to hit f10 and save changes we want to say yes i want to click uh, escape to pause now this is starting up and so now this should come up i'll hit f9 should see let me see if we did this right we do it disable it yeah we did uh, security boot is disabled legacy support we want to enable that so um that's just an extra step that we miss here so legacy support you want to hit enter you want to enable that so you want to say yes so the way it looks here Okay, so you want to you want to disable the you want to disable um, you want to enable legacy support and disable security security boot. All right, now we hit F10 to save changes, and then we hit Enter, and then we hit Escape right away. So we pause the boot. So so we should see that. So now you see that it says uh, escape, pause, startup. So we're, we're pausing the startup. So now we should have the option for the DVD. 
So here now we're going to press F9. Okay, press F9. And uh, if you notice now, we have the option to boot from uh, DVD. Uh, notebook hard drive, boot from IFF or OS. So now if you want to install Windows 7, boot to a CD, you can do it now. But um, you're set. That's how you do it. So just remember to go into system utility to disable the startup. Go back to options and legacy support. So what we're going to do is we're going to re-disable that. So we want to say yes here. So and now we want to and as soon as you do that the uh, secure boot option is enabled again. And you should be set. And notice how I'm going to press escape again. It's going to pause it. It's going to pause it again. And um, I'm going to go F9 again. Notice how it's not going to show up. See? So the option to boot from CD is in disabled. Um, pause the video as you're going along. I know I might be going a little fast for some people, but uh, you should be able to do it. Everything is in the set setup. As long as you disable that UEFI secure op boot option, you should be set and enable the legacy support. All right. If you have any questions, subscribe to the channel, post your comments. We will not reply. We will not post any answers to any questions from people that do not subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, subscribe, hit like if it helps you. That helps us uh, so as we get more uh, more likes and more uh, subscribers and we can put more videos up again. Okay, hopefully this helps a lot of people out there. And until the next time.